The RC4 module provides design and verification of pad and strip footings. Simple plates, stabbed and sloped pad footings with rectangular or circular shapes are supported. From strip footings, simple, stabbed and sloped are available. Two new features being introduced to the module. The first is that beside the stability check, sliding check and settlement evaluation, check against uplift is available. The second is that now the list of performed checks can be controlled individually. On this multi-story example model, where the analysis is already performed, we can see that there is a positive upward-facing RZ reaction on one of the nodal supports. Design of footings is available from the RC design tab, where it's a dedicated function both for pad and strip footings as well. After selecting a support for the pad footing design, the footing design parameter dialog will appear, where input parameters such as physical dimension of the footing, soil profiles, reinforcement parameters and further parameters has to be set. The little padlock is an important function, as this is with which we can decide if you want to fixate the dimensions of the footing and want to check them against standard criteria or leave the padlock open and give the maximum dimensions which the software will use to design the size of the footing. This example uses fixed dimensions. The new features are on the checks tab. Here the first new feature is the uplift check which checks if an upward force acts on the footing and if the self weight of the footing counterbalances the corresponding external force. The second new feature is that now each check can be controlled individually. Detailed calculation report is available for RC4 as well, in which the uplift check is included in its separate chapter. 